Hey everyone, Damien here from Slinky Given Games and I'm going to be playing through the Alliance mode of I Am The Fourth Wall. So this is uh, how you play through it with either a solo or cooperative uh, type setup. I've got the mat here with me. Uh, this is something that comes in the deluxe box, but it's easy enough to play without. I just like using it for the organization of it. And then we're also going to be using the streets board here. Now this is what you need to use for uh, alliance games and you don't actually need to use it in the conflict games which is the one versus all setup. I then just want to make sure that whoop, all my cards are nicely shuffled and placed in their appropriate areas. So these are the marble cards. Uh, marbles are essentially what the investigators or the good guys will be using to try and uh, take down the wall uh, which is like the ancient um, old ones and things like that. Uh, from the Cthulhu Mythos. So uh, let's get those over at the side of the table. We've then got the horrors and these are kind of like the odd happenings and monsters. Ooh, wow my shuffling is amazing today. Now uh, I've got my turn tracker there which is for three investigators so I'll be using three investigators in this game and I'll drop down the wall. Now we won't actually know what we're playing against until uh, an eye opens, so part way through the game, uh, and the rest of these are just used to keep track of how many gates are open. Now, in a standard game, you start with three open gates, uh, and you can have an extra gate or one less gate depending on whether you want to increase or decrease the difficulty. Uh, people are probably going to call me a wuss if I can't try and tackle my own game on hard uh, difficulty, so I'm going to drop that gate down there and see how I go. Presence cards now, that will control the AI of the wall. And now I just need to figure out who the investigators are going to be. So, um, over here we've got the faith healer and the housewife, the photographer and the scientist, and the conspiracy theorist and the private eye. Now out of each of these sets I'm going to choose which investigators I'll use, so it gives me a bit of options at the start. Uh, but you don't need to have everyone sifting through every single card that there is. I think I'm going to go with the housewife. Now this is interesting because normally I would probably pick the um, photographer over the scientist and the conspiracy theorist over the private eye, but because of the combos that I've got here, uh, I think my best combo is actually to go private eye and scientist. And that gives me a good range of blitz actions to work with. So that is going to be the team. Let's get them some marbles. Well, we have the private eye and the housewife both have a sanity of five. The scientist has a sanity of four, which is just how many cards or marbles they have to work with. So let's deal these out. If they do lose all their marbles, of course they go insane. So let's get those dealt out to them. Now I will play with the hands just uh, face up like this. First of all, so that you can see what's going on and also so that I can see what's going on. Fantastic, that's, that's a nice little bit of variation there. Not so much for the housewife. Uh, they've got lots of clue and a little bit of science, but, not, uh, but no force, which is a bit sad. But anyway, uh, let's get rid of the doom tokens there and we're about ready to start. Okay, so to start off with, the wall takes the first turn. Now, uh, they have a varying amount of actions that they can have depending on what the investigators to but because they have the first turn they will have two base to start with and because it is the first turn they'll get an extra one to help get themselves rolling. So now and the number of doom that they have there is the number of cards that they draw and resolve. So the first card is going to be Deluge. Uh, now this is actually a pool of cards that we can build up over here uh, but if you can't ever resolve an action such as resolve the cards that are in this pile uh, you always just delve instead which is actually adding to that pile that Deluge would use. Okay, uh, next up we've got Unchained, uh, Trouble on the Streets on Unchained Boulevard, so we're going to bring out a horror and put it onto uh, the number one street here, which is Unchained Boulevard. And then we've got one more action, so uh, we're going to destroy a marble. Now, because the investigators haven't had any turns, there are no marbles on the streets to be destroyed, so instead we're going to delve. Again, if you, can't resolve, uh, if you can't resolve the full action of something that comes up for the wall, then it automatically becomes a delve instead. 
And so we're going to go clockwise through the investigators, but in between each turn, the wall will actually have another turn as well. So starting with the housewife, now there is a cultist out on the street. So I think we do need to get rid of them because I can't close a gate with the marbles that I've got. I'm going to, there's not a lot for the housewife to do at this point. I need to make sure that I'm cycling through my deck to get new things, but I'm just going to intervene with the telescope and get rid of the cultist. So nice little early victory to crack someone over the head with a telescope. The cultist is defeated and when a uh, when a horror is defeated, they actually have death rattles down the bottom here, which means that they generally do something when they are defeated. So the cultist will go away, but their death rattle is to delve, which will just pull another card out here. And then we've got one more action, in which case I'm just going to search because I just I need to try and get some um, force cards coming up. And Molotov cocktail. Okay, that's that's got some force to it. Uh, next up, we've got the wall. And they're going to be generating two action points. And we're going to see what they are. So Wrath Secondary, so that's going to come out here. And then the second one is going to be Sandman Terrace. So we have a Dimensional Shambler coming out onto Sandman Terrace. So it is the scientist's turn. What I should have done at the start uh, was put down the target token and this is just a way to um, show who is being targeted by uh, the wall at any given point. We will just go ahead and drop it with the housewife uh, and it will move around the table as different characters get targeted. Uh, so first of all with the scientist we're going to start off with the metal detector uh, because we've actually got this zero action intervene here. So intervene with a science marble uh, because this has science on it I can do that for free. And I also have this extra rule down here that when I intervene with it, I can search. So I'm just going to draw a new card. Not bad. Okay. And then I'm actually going to close a gate because I still have two actions remaining because that didn't cost any of my actions. So to close a gate, I need to be able to discard cards that collectively have at least one of each symbol. So there we have it between those two. And I get to get rid of one of these gates, which is good. It's a good start to uh, try and get that happening early, um, but that is the scientist's turn. Okay, so we now get to go to the wall's turn. So again, we're starting with uh, two uh, doom tokens there. First one is going to be wrath secondary. So we're going to delve instead because we don't know who the bad guy is. Then three Sandman Terrace, and that is actually the dimensional shambler. Um, now, the Dimensional Shambler is one of those monsters that is a little bit crazier. So this is Target Investigator Goes Insane. Discard all their marbles, uh, but this does not open a gate. So unfortunately, the Housewife is the Target Investigator, and after rummaging around and finding a Molotov cocktail, uh, has just been uh, dimensionally blasted into an alternate reality. Uh, along with it, the holy symbols, which are not going to help here. So they go away, the housewife goes insane, but we don't open up another gate. Okay, that's, that's a little bit cruel, but we'll see how we go. So that is the two actions for the wall. Uh, okay, so we get to the private eye. Ooh, we probably want to get rid of that, just so that it doesn't just keep on ixnaying all of our characters, because uh, we had quite a few good cards with the housewife. First focus, let's get rid of that. Um, so I'm going to use my uh, unique action here, uh, which is intervene with a clue marble, which I'm going to use this camera, uh, and then I get to search for free again afterwards. So uh, I will intervene with that and then combine with the metal detector, that is enough to defeat the dimensional shambler. So they go away and then elected investigator must lose a random marble. Ah, actually, that was on Sandman Terrace. I don't actually need to worry about that. So elected investigator must lose a random marble is part of the death rattle, and any horrors that are on Sandman Terrace do not uh, have their death rattle come into effect. So that goes away, and then I get to search as the rest of that action. What I think I'm going to do is 
I'm going to utilize this tinfoil hat, which pretty much allows me to put it onto a character and uh, they can lose this instead of losing a marble. Still wouldn't have helped the housewife, uh, but it might uh, be handy for someone else. So I'm going to give that to, I'm going to give it to the scientist. Uh, but I do get to search as part of that as well. So, great. Okay, now that is all of the investigators have had a turn, which means that the turn tracker ticks up one step. And uh, we go back to the wall's turn. So we're generating to doom, and we're seeing what our lovely friend the wall is going to do. So first up, we've got destroy a marble. Okay, so we do have a marble on the streets this time, which is the tinfoil hat. So that is a straight up going away. And the second one is going to be wrath secondary, which is going to add it to this uh, delve pool here, which is getting to a rather high number, which is problematic. But we'll deal with that when it comes. Okay, so now we get back to our, well, what, what once was the housewife, but unfortunately she's gone insane. In this game, there's no player elimination. What instead happens is at the start of their turn, they will uh, grab the remaining investigator cards draw a random one and bring that into play. And we have the salesman. And we're gonna grab four marbles there. Okay, and that's a nice little batch of cards to have straight up because uh, we've managed to clear the field and we've had a very defensive wall at this point. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use these two cards here to immediately uh, close a gate. Cool. Okay, that was, that was not a bad entrance. Um, I don't really want to use his other ability because that will bring me down to one card in hand. So we're going to finish the turn there. And the wall is going to have two actions. First of which is going to be destroy. No marbles out to destroy, so we're going to have another marble come into the delve pool. And then we're going to have wrath secondary, uh, which is again, uh, because we don't know the name of our antagonist, we're going to get another card coming out into the delve pool. Okay, Scientist is next up. Uh, now, unfortunately, we don't have enough, uh, well, the right marbles to close a gate. Uh, so I, and he's more of an uh, aggressive character uh, to be able to clear the board. So at this point, we're looking at first aid kit is probably looking like a good option. Um, or he's only got four. So I'm, I'm going to utilize the first aid kit and draw three cards. And then I can give these to uh, whoever I see fit. So science goes well with the scientist. And we're going to, I mean, the salesman, we know what he's peddling. He's got two revolvers and an Uzi. That's the scientist's turn done. We're again going to have two actions from the wall. First action being um, Sandman Terror, so we're going to bring out a horror onto the streets. We get a cult leader. And the second one is going to be Wrath Primary, which is going to put yet another card down here. Well, that is starting to stack up. Okay, so we get to the Private Eyes turn, and I could take out the cult leader. I could also close a gate, but in doing so, I'm actually getting rid of quite a few larger cards. And I know that I won't be able to close the final gate with the salesman in the next round anyway. So I probably need to think more long term. I'm going to use my unique action here to intervene with a uh, clue marble, and so I'm going to use that to take down the cult leader. And its death rattle is to delve, so we're again getting another card up here, and that's going to be really, really problematic. Uh, so that's been one action, I get one more action to use stuff, so I'm going to go for, I'm going to set up 
So I'm going to utilize the Studebaker, bring it out here, and what that'll do is effectively reduce one force symbol off every single horror that comes out. So uh, hopefully that will save us a little bit of having to spend cards later on. Now that brings us to the end of the round. This is the last round that we'll have before an eye opens. So I really want to be able to close at least one more gate before the next round finishes, uh, but we'll see how we go. So first one is Deluge. Okay, this is where we go through here. So one card, yes, we've got one card. So Elected Investigator loses a marble. Now uh, the Private Eyes is going to lose this lighter. That's fine. Uh, so we do also have three cards in here, because remember this is all cumulative. Uh, so Target Investigator loses a marble, so that's going to be the Scientist. I actually think I want to lose the Studebaker, because I, I like having the tinfoil hat, and it's a science symbol for him as well. Okay, and then we do get up to five, which is add an extra Doom to the pool. So we currently have two, we're going to add another one. And then the question is, if we have another five, we actually straight up open another gate, just because this has gotten so thick with stuff. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're opening up another gate. Ah, oh, so that's something where it was a little bit, <laughs> um, like if that, uh, if the delve pool does stack up like that, it can have huge sort of devastating effects. So it can seem rather, like fine to just happen at the time, but uh, it can really mess up your day if it gets to be too many in there. Okay, so that was Deluge. Uh, we're going to go Sandman Terra, so we're going to bring out a new horror here. So Lights in the Mist. And then we're also going to have one on Unchained Boulevard. So bringing out another Cultist. Okay, so we're up to the Salesman's turn. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a whole lot of things that are useful to clearing out these guys. So instead, what do we actually have? So because he does have an ability to discard two cards and then take a card from uh, the discard pile, can't quite get away with that because that means that I drive myself insane to close a gate, which would then just open up another gate. So let's not do that just at the moment. I'm going to roll the dice, or roll the proverbial dice, I'm going to draw a card, so I'm going to search and get a walkie-talkie. Actually, this is quite good. I'm going to utilize the walkie-talkie and bring it out here, and what that does is whenever a new horror comes out onto the streets, I actually can have someone search, uh, which is, which should be really good. Okay, cool. So that is the salesman's turn is done, and so we are going to get back to the walls, lovely, lovely turn. Okay, so we've got two actions, first of which is Deluge, there's nothing there so we're going to get another card out, and the second is going to be Chantilly Lane. Okay, and we've got a High Priest. Now, the thing with Chantilly Lane is uh, the, abil the rule for uh, the street that it's on is at the start of each wall turn, add one additional Doom if there is a horror at Chantilly Lane. So that's something that I really need to deal with when I get the chance. Now, Scientist doesn't have great stuff to try and deal with that. Nor does anyone at the moment, but I'll see if I can make it work. Now, because the High Priest came out and we've got a walkie-talkie out, I do get to have someone draw a card. And I'm going to have... I'm going to have the scientist draw a card. And it's a beagle. Cool. Okay. Uh, so on the scientist's turn, I'm going to have him utilize the beagle, which essentially is just like a, a lovely little animal friend. Uh, it allows him to um, hold up to one extra card, as well as give a new unique action. And I'm actually going to use that unique action right now. So he's going, uh, because it's a zero cost, I get to uh, blitz, which is look at a certain number of cards, in this case two, and any that have the symbol shown, which is a clue, I get to use. Unfortunately, that is neither of them. So puppy did a swing and a miss. Now I can 
get rid of lights in the mist, but I really want to be focusing on the high priest first. So, so what I'll do is for my second action, I'm going to utilize the first aid kit. So I'm going to draw three cards and then I can give these to any players that I choose. And that's actually perfect. Uh, I'm going to keep that there. Uh, who else needs stuff? Uh, we're going to drop a deer stalker over here. And also... Actually, I'm going to give you the acoustic guitar as well. Uh, ooh, actually, no. I'm going to keep the acoustic guitar over with the scientist. Now, for a zero cost action, I'm going to intervene with a science card, which I can actually put down onto the high priest, which negates the one science there. Uh, the card itself actually negates all clues on a horror. And I have the Studebaker parked outside, so that's going to negate the force symbol on there as well. So that's actually going to defeat it. Now, uh, it does have a death rattle, which is Onslaught 2. Now, what Onslaught does is uh, we're drawing two cards and any, uh, drawing two horror cards, which are temporarily going to come out onto the, uh, into play, swing at people, and then go away again. So any that have clue symbols, uh, that one doesn't. It's just the voices from the water. So this is Taint the Unique Action of Target Investigator. So Taint essentially just means put a Doom counter on top of the action. And then if I choose to use that action, uh, then that doom then goes to the wall. But then it goes away, straight away. And then we've got the priest. He's also defeated and gone. Great. Uh, and I've at least gotten rid of that, which means that they don't get the extra action. So, the wall is going to be taking two actions. The first of which is going to be putting a horror onto Suzy Q Avenue. So, down here we're going to have a gug. Now, it does have Drain in its manifest cost. So that will come into play Drain no matter where it comes from. While there is a horror here, I can't actually close any gates. But because we did have a horror manifest, uh, someone does get to search. And at this point, I think we actually need the private eye needs to get some stuff in hand. Um, to hopefully deal with some things. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and now the next action is going to be, we're going to bring another horror out onto Chantilly Lane. Oh, which is a little bit stressful because that's what we just spent so long trying to get rid of earlier. But because we did manifest a horror, it means that someone gets to search and I'm going to have Ooh, I think I'll have the salesman search over here. And they get an elder sign. Okay, so that is the wall's turn. Now we get to the private eye. Uh, now, because we did have that extra cultist come out, I do really want to try and get rid of them. And this, uh, the private eye's blitz is actually going to be really useful for that. So I'm going to exploit the rift. I'm going to draw seven cards and any that have clue symbols on them, I get to intervene with straight away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's try and drop these down. Okay, so I won't get to use all of them, but I've done pretty well. I can use four of these cards. Okay, so... Oh, it depends on what I want to take out, because I can't really take out cultists very easily with these. I'm going to drop that over there because that's definitely the cultist that I need to get rid of. I'll put the that on the lights in the mist, that on the gug, and that on the gug. Cool, so the lights in the mist is going to be defeated by that because we've got enough science symbols. So uh, it is going to delve as its death rattle. Uh, actually, we're going to ignore the death rattle of Horrors on Sandman Terrace, so that goes away. And actually, what we've got here, because we've got the Studebaker out, that's going to defeat the Gug as well. So those cards will go away, and Elected Investigator must lose a random marble. I'm not too happy about anyone losing a random marble because I've got Elder Sign over there. Uh, he doesn't have many left, 
and I've got like Kopesh, a couple of things over here. So I'm actually going to use the holy symbol to just say nope and stop that ever from happening. Still losing a marble, but I at least get to choose which one it is. So Gug goes away, and that's been one action. I've got one more action to use. So I'm going to use my unique action at the top here to place down, uh, to intervene with a clue marble card. Now, when I intervene with this, I get to reveal three marbles. Any that have clues I can put into my hand, which that was an amazing pull. And then the cultist is going to be defeated. And because it's defeated, uh, it will delve as its death rattle. And then I get to search as the last part of my action. Now, this has put me at six cards. And at the end of the action, if I have more than six cards, I have to get rid of something which really is an easy choice. I'm just gonna get rid of a notepad. And that was the private eyes turn, which was the last of the easy stuff that we get. So now we've gone to the next round and an eye opens, which means that the wall is going to reveal itself and we get Cthulhu. So on Cthulhu's first turn, we use and exploit the rift, so they're gonna get an extra doom and we're gonna have the two for the turn. So, and our old buddy here is going to Wrath Primary. Uh, so he only has one Wrath ability and that is Elected uh, Investigator must lose a marble. So I can lose any marble from anywhere that I like. So the notepad is going to go, but I mean, it's Cthulhu, there's going to be extra things. So this is whenever an investigator loses one or more marbles, you may delve. So that means that we're also going to be dropping a card in this pile here. And that was the first action. Second one is going to be destroy. So this is going to be a marble on the streets and it's going to be the one with the highest number of symbols, which is going to be the Studebaker. So that's gone away. And our last one here is going to be Chantilly Lane gets a little more love. Uh, and we pull out an Elder Thing. Fantastic, okay, that's, that's put a bit of a spanner in the works. So I really wanna try and get rid of that. But I also wanna be closing gates. But because that did come out, uh, and we've got the walkie-talkie out, we can also search. And I'm going to have the salesman search. And he gets a camera. Not bad. Uh, actually, uh, before his turn, uh, because that action has finished, uh, we need to discard down to four marbles. So unfortunately, we've got to get rid of that revolver. Probably should have had someone else search, but hey. Now on his turn, we are going to, I could close a gate with this, but I really don't want extra turns coming up. I'm going to utilize to defeat the horror and ignore its death rattle. So that's going to go away. And then, uh, for the second action, I'm actually going to uh, utilize the camera to get me an Elder Sign, um, because I get to take something from the discard pile, and I just want to see how ridiculous I can be. No, I don't really want to go down to just having two Elder Signs, which would be possible at this point, but Probably not a wise move, so I will um, I will not use my zero action ability, and we'll pass it over to the scientist's turn. Uh, sorry, not the scientist's turn. Cthulhu! Cthulhu gets to do stuff, because he is Cthulhu. We've got the first action is destroy. Now, unfortunately for the scientist, the marble that is out on the streets with the highest number of symbols is actually going to be the beagle, so... Beagle's going to go away. And the second is Chantilly Lane. I keep on cleaning up this mess. Oh, okay, and we've got a summoner out there, which is again a big thing to try and get rid of. That's a little bit stressful, but it does mean that someone gets to search. So that's definitely gonna be the scientist. And he's gonna pull a switchblade, which is what all scientists should have. So we are going to use both actions to close a gate. So we've got one of each symbol, discarded, and close a gate. I don't have a science symbol to use his thing there, but I don't really want to give an extra doom anyway. 
Uh, so that is the scientist's turn, and we go back to Cthulhu, who's got two actions to deal with, and first one is going to be one. So the cultists, there's not enough cultists to sacrifice uh, to open a gate, so instead that's going to be a delve. And then the second one is going to be deluge. So this is problematic. So elected investigator must lose a marble and then target investigator must lose a marble. Um, fortunately, there's not enough to um, bring out an extra doom, but it does mean that... don't believe there's anything we can do. The scientist is going to go, so who's going to lose marbles? I actually quite like the kit out that we've got here. So the elected marble is going to be the Uzi, and then target is going to be the scientist who's going to lose his switchblade. That'll move over, that'll go away, but the scientist is insane, and we do have a gate open. Oh man, okay. And there goes the deluge cards. And that was the two actions. So we are now on to the private eye. We do have a clear swing at the gates, which I think is probably going to be the best option here. Now the question is, do I use the Elder Sign or am I actually going to use two um, other things? I think I'm going to close the gate with these two, uh, which does cost more marbles, but it means I can hold on to the Elder s Actually, he's the target investigator next, so I'm going to keep the cards, use the Elder Sign, close a gate. Avenge the scientist! And that is the next round. Um, and of course, when we did lose marbles earlier, we're actually going to have two come out there. Okay, so next round, Cthulhu is going to be doing his thing uh, with two actions. We've got first one, Sandman Terrace. We're going to bring out a new horror. Now, because a new horror came out, I'm going to have this um, salesman will search. And that's a sniper rifle, not bad. And then the second is going to be uh, Trouble on the Streets at Blue Suede Road. So while there's a horror here, I can't actually regroup. And because the Night Gaunts come out, I do get to search with one of the investigators as well. I actually think I want it to be the private eye. So he's gonna search and grab a switchblade. Useful. Uh, now we do actually have the summoner on Chantilly Lane, so that does mean that we do in fact have three uh, Doom, which means that we're going to pull another one, and that's going to drop onto Susie Q Avenue. Now, gatekeepers always come in drained. They've got drain on there, uh, across there. But again, new monsters coming in, I get to search. That's definitely going to be the salesman now, because we need to try and deal with the gatekeeper. Salesman, what are you going to do, buddy? So here is the plan. Uh, I am going to discard two cards from my hand. Um, actually, I'll keep that. So I'm going to discard those two to bring in an Elder Sign. And then I'm going to utilize an Elder Sign to get rid of the Summoner. And what that'll mean is that it's one less action that um, Cthulhu gets during his turn. Okay, great. So, two actions for the turn. No extra one for Chantilly Lane. And let's see how Cthulhu feels about that. So first up, one. So the cultist is going to try and sacrifice cultists, but there are none there, so we're going to delve instead. Deluge. So we've got cards in here. We just got the third card there. So elected is going to lose a marble, and then target is going to lose a marble. It's going to have to be both from the private eye. Target will move over. Okay, so whenever an investigator loses one or more marbles, you may delve. So, investigator lost multiple marbles, we're going to delve over here. And that brings us to our insane investigator. Well, the scientist is gone, let's get him out of there. And go grab a random one from the remaining deck. And we get the crooner. And he's going to get five marbles, so one, two, three, four, five. 
which includes the Looking Glass, which is quite a powerful card, but it can also give benefits to the wall. So I want to be sparing where I use that. And there's two Molotov Cocktails in there as well. Uh, he has all the firepower. Okay, that being said, what we'll do is, so we've got the Crooner's turn. We need to be closing gates. Um, just because this is going to get more and more difficult as we go on. So that means that I need to get rid of the gatekeeper first. So here's the plan. Uh, the salesman is going to exploit the rift because he can use his as a rush, which means it can be outside of his own turn. And so he can intervene or utilize. Uh, and he's actually going to utilize this elder sign to get rid of the gatekeeper and ignore its death rattle. So that goes away, which means that I can now close gates. So the crooner is going to use both their actions to use the nonstick frying pan and the looking glass to close a gate. Now, the downside to the looking glass is, so you may discard this marble when you regroup before drawing marbles. If this marble enters the discard pile for any other reason, the wall gains a doom. Now, now that went in there while I was not regrouping, so that means that the wall does get an extra doom. I'm sure Cthulhu will be happy with that, right? I did close the gate, we're on one gate left, but Cthulhu is also gonna get another two doom for the turn, which means four cards are coming out. Let's see how we fare with this. First card, Suzy Q Avenue. So immediately filling that spot, oh, we've got a hand of Tinder loss. Okay, uh, but because we have manifested something, someone gets to draw a marble, it's going to be the salesman because if he has to discard something, that will be bad. Great, cool. Second card, Sandman Terrace. It's going to be the ghast. Uh, elected investigator must lose a marble, so someone here can choose which one they lose. I'm going to lose a Molotov cocktail. I don't really need two of them at once. Uh, and then find a ghast and manifest it. So did we have any ghasts in here? Yes, we did. So that's going to come out into Chantilly Lane. And because we manifested a horror, uh, someone gets to draw a card. So I'm actually going to go with the Private Eye because he's about to have a turn and it will be useful for him to... That's actually a really good card to get, despite it being only a lighter. And next up we get four. Uh, so that's going to be Blue Suede Road. Um, elected Investigator must lose a random marble. Oh boy. Uh, the crooner's going to lose a random marble. I mean, it's not too random when there's only two cards there. Ah, it's the Molotov goes. Okay, he didn't need that anyway. Okay, and then lastly, well, theoretically lastly, ah, and because we lost a marble there, the wall is going to get a card. Uh, and then we're going to have Wrath from Cthulhu. So someone has to lose a card somewhere. I really don't want the Private Eye to lose a marble and so close to being able to finish it this turn, but uh, I think I've actually got to start regrouping, get marbles back because I'm just so low on health. Um, so the convection oven is going to, what am I doing? I'll keep that. The lighter is going to go away and Cthulhu is going to delve. Oh boy. Okay, so close, but not quite yet. We get to the Private Eye's turn, and I do need to deal with the Hound of Tindalos before we can close gates, but I do need to start getting marbles back as well. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Now, we do get marbles every time stuff comes out, so that can actually be a viable strategy. Um, well. Might be a viable strategy. Uh, so I'm going to try and clear out some stuff from the board. Uh, I'm actually going to use the Blitz. So we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. And oh, are you kidding? <laughs> I only hit with two this time. Okay. I really need to get rid of both the Hound and the Ghast over here so that I can continue doing stuff with other characters. So I need to clear the way for people to regroup as well. So I, I just need to get rid of stuff in general. Um, I'm going to drop that on the ghast because I think I just need to stop it from getting extra turns. 
that's going to go down onto the cultist and both of those are going to be removed. So, so taint elected investigator, I am going to taint, who's not pulling their weight? You know what, the crooner's going to lose, uh, have that there, and the ghast is going to go away. The cultist is going to also be removed, uh, and Cthulhu is going to get an extra delve for it as well. But also because an investigator may search whenever a horror is defeated at Unchained Boulevard, I'm going to have the private eye do that. So I'm going to draw a card and I get the Spaniel. Interesting. It's not quite what I needed. Okay, so here's the play. I need to get rid of the Hand of Tindalos. And the way that I can do that is to um, actually bounce it back to the hand. So intervene or utilize with a clue marble, which is going to be this Kopesh here. And uh, the utilize action is return a horror to the wall. Now, returning to the wall in this case means putting it into the delve pile, which does kind of power that up a little bit, but it does get rid of it straight away. And I get to do that and search within the same action. Cool, so that keeps me up on health a little bit as well. Now that is the last, um, uh, that is the end of the round. So we're gonna tick up the move, uh, the tracker there, and we'll get back to Cthulhu's turn. So we did use our exploit the rift, and we're going to get two for the turn. We got rid of Chantilly Lane. So we only have to deal with three cards that come up. First one, Deluge. Oh man, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to chain a couple of things off. So our uh, first thing is elected investigator must lose a marble. The convection oven is going to have to go because then target investigator is going to lose a marble, uh, which in this case is going to be the sniper rifle. The target moves on. And then we're going to add a doom and they go away. So we now have another three cards to do. Unchained Boulevard, we're getting another horror out here, but that does mean that we get to search. And the salesman is definitely going to search because he's getting his turn next. Next card. Destroy. Oh no. No. <laughs> the walkie talkie has been so good. It has been, oh. Walkie talkie is gone. Cthulhu is just like, no, no walkie talkies for you. Get rid of it. Uh, and then the last one, we're going to go Chantilly Lane is going to get another thing here. So it's another ghast that we have to deal with. Oh dear. I mean, it's Cthulhu, he's meant to be hard, right? Back to the salesman. Now we are running desperately low on marbles. Um, we do only have one thing to close so close to being able to close the last gate. Um, but it's just not going to happen. What I need to do is to set someone else up to be able to close a gate and hopefully we still have the opportunity later on. So I'm going to regroup over here. Before this all gets shuffled back in again, let's swap out these two cards here and get an Elder Sign, and then we'll regroup. I want to regroup, but I can't, because the Night Gaunt's on Blue Suede Road. What we're going to have to do instead is search. Okay. And we're going to go for another search, which is not quite as good as regrouping, but uh, it'll do the job in a pinch. Cthulhu is going to be up. Uh, we're going to have two for the turn and then one for the ghast who's just camped out on Chantilly Lane. So first of all, Blue Suede Road. Uh, elected investigator must lose a random marble. <laughs> okay, uh, that is going to be the private eye over here. He's going to lose one of these randomly. And that one. Metal detector. Okay, so lost a marble, so that means Cthulhu gets to delve. And next up, we've got Wrath. So elected investigator must lose a marble. Well, all the options that I have here, do I send someone insane? 
these guys are just going to be stalling out until they get new cards. So, and I can't do that while the Night Gaunt's out. You know what? The Crooner's going to take it. Crooner is going to take that to the face. Um, the target token will just move on to the next one and go insane. So that will be a gate opens. And because you lost a marble, Cthulhu gets a free delve. Next one over. Sandman Terror. Uh, Sandman Terrace, which is going to be our ghast. So elected investigator must lose a marble. It is only one. Am I losing both of them? I'll come in with fresh hands. And I think that's actually the play. Spaniel's gone. I need... Um, something a little more panache, I suppose. Ah, uh, now, I also need to find and manifest a ghast. There he is, the last little boy. And he goes down there, and he's stopping me from closing gates, which is a little bit frustrating because that's what I wanted to be able to do in my next uh, couple of turns. So, next investigator, who is a complete mystery at this point. So, thank you, Karuna, for your service. You get to go away. And we're going to draw ourselves a new investigator, which is going to be the photographer. Only four marbles. That's, that's a little bit sad. So we're going to grab these four here, plus an extra one. We're going to draw that extra marble. And we've got a telescope. That's nice. So we need to be getting rid of ghasts. And there's no discard pile, <laughs> uh, which is what um, I... For her exploit the rift, I can intervene with two marbles from the discard pile, which would have been real useful about now. I can try and pull off some shenanigans. So I'm going to intervene with a clue marble, and that clue marble is going to be the briefcase. Now, when I intervene with a briefcase, you may intervene again with a marble with a single symbol. And I can actually do that with the tracking device to get rid of, I think I actually need it to be this ghast up here to stop that extra doom from coming in each turn. Ghast goes away and the ghast is going to taint an ele elected investigator. And that is going to be, that's going to be the salesman over here. And then with one action remaining, I will use an Uzi. Uh, intervene with an Uzi on the Warlock to defeat it. And just for safe measure, I'm actually going to use the snub nose Rifle because I don't want the Onslaught uh, coming up after it's gone. And after defeating something there, I do get to search. And the Photographer is going to search because I need to get cards back again. Okay, we're, we're working on this. We're... <laughs> It's getting there. Uh, we've removed that one there. We didn't use our exploit the rift, so that means Cthulhu only gets two actions. Which is good. It's an improvement on what we've been doing previously. And the first one is to be Chantilly Lane. So, of course, we get something back here, and it's a Shoggoth. Of course it is. And for the next action, we've got Wrath. So, elected investigator must lose a marble. That is going to be the photographer. And because we lost a marble, we're going to get a new card in the delve pool there. Okay, and that's the two actions from Cthulhu. So we get to see who our next little buddy is. So goodbye, Private Eye. And we are bringing in... This person, the Mall Cop. Um, okay, we can work with this. We can work... It's only got four marbles. Two, three, four. What we need to do is, oh, we can't get rid of that ghast. Uh, we don't have enough to close a gate either. So uh, we're going to need to focus on clearing the field so that I can regroup if I need to and also not get munched on by that thing. I'm going to exploit the rift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And anything with a force symbol in there I can use, which is only two. Actually, like the two that came up were quite well placed because the Molotov cocktail perfectly defeats that. 
and the acoustic guitar will perfectly defeat that. Unfortunately, when I intervene with the Molotov cocktail, the wall targets an investigator to lose a marble. So the target is currently the salesman, so they're going to lose the ancient text, and that's going to get passed on. Cool. Uh, but we do have uh, the death rattle over here is elected investigator must search. So I'm going to elect the photographer because they're going to need more stuff. Oh, they found a car. That's nice. And that goes away. And then the night gaunt doesn't have a death rattle, which is very, very useful. Okay, so that was action number one. What I get to do next, really need to get rid of those ghasts. I think I want to just give a card over here so that they don't just go insane. Uh, and that's going to be... Revolver and the Studebaker actually still work pretty well with the mall cops, so I'm actually going to give the camera. And that's his round, and this is where we tick into the last phase of the game, which is the crescendo. We have two more rounds left, but we do get extra action. So all of the characters get an, uh, three actions instead of two, and Cthulhu is actually going to be generating three Doom instead of two at the start of his turn. With that being said, we did Blitz, and Cthulhu gets two plus an extra one for the crescendo. Let's see what he decides to do. First action. Wrath. Uh, so Elected is going to lose a marble. I'm going to lose this notepad over here. And because that happened, we're going to also have Cthulhu delve. So... And our next action is going to be Sandman Terrace. So the ghoul is going to be Elected Investigator must lose a marble. I'm actually going to go with the Salesman on this, because he's up next, so um, hopefully there won't be too much of beating between now and then, and the target token is far away. But we did lose a marble, so Cthulhu gets a delve. Wrath, losing another marble. Studebaker is going to go. And the last one here, destroy. Uh, we don't have any cards out here, so we're going to get a delve. Salesman, time to do your thing. Uh, we will regroup because we can now uh, get rid of that and we're going to draw to three cards that's actually not bad and we can okay. yep no, that's good that's good that's good I'm happy with that draw uh, I'm not going to cycle any of those cards out I have one more action left because we are in the crescendo I'm going to utilize this tinfoil hat uh, and I'm going to give it to the photographer because I really can't lose anyone this late in the game. And it does mean that I get to search as well, which is a first aid kit, which is also good. I can deal with that. So we've got quite a nice hand over here. We're back to Cthulhu's turn. So three Doom because there's no one on Chantilly Lane. So we've got one, destroy. Well, there goes the hat. Second one, Chantilly Lane. Uh, we've got a Night Gaunt coming out there. And then we've got Wrath. So someone's losing a marble. I think it actually needs to be the Maul Cop over here because I really want to hold on to those cards. And that's those three done. Photographer's turn. I think what I need to be doing is I've still got my regroup open. So I'm going to, uh, yes, I can still regroup. I'm going to regroup with the photographer, draw three cards. Okay. And then I can swap freely between investigators who have regrouped. So I can bring, I'm going to swap this card and, and the telescope. And then I also want to bring over the metal detector and I'll just drop the lighter over there as well. So that's two actions. I still have one remaining, uh, but I also have the free action here as well. So I'm going to use my free action to intervene with the acoustic guitar to take out the night gaunt. My last action, I'm actually going to exploit the rift. I was going to use the metal detector, but I'm going to exploit the rift, intervene with two marbles from the discard pile, 
because I want to get rid of both of those at once. There's one card that I want here. I want a metal detector, and then I also, it doesn't really matter what else I use, uh, the tinfoil hat. So both of those are going away. Um, when I use this, I get to search. It's another metal detector, that's nice. And then, uh, so this ghast, uh, we ignore the death rattle because it's on Sandman Terrace. And this ghast, uh, we're going to taint elected investigator. I'm gonna taint his blitz, because it's a little less reliable than some of the other things that we've got going on. Okay, that's the plan, sticking to it. Okay, so uh, Cthulhu does get three actions coming in. First one here, Sandman Terrace. Okay, so we've got a ghoul. Next one up is destroy a marble. We don't have any in place, so we're going to delve. Then third one, wrath. Someone's got to lose a marble. And that someone is going to be the salesman over here. Whew, I'm going to need to close some gates real soon. Uh, last one, Suzy Q Avenue. Ah, oh, why? Why would you do that? Okay. Last minute night gaunt. So we've got the mall cops turn. I'm going to exploit the rift with the salesman. So, and I'm going to use that to utilize this first aid kit, which is a little bit of a riskier play, but it means I get to keep the elder sign. Not quite what we needed. Let's drop those over there, this over here. And then I have a couple of actions left. I'm going to utilize the first aid kit. Oh, man. <laughs> um, not quite what we needed. I really want an acoustic guitar, but I think we've played through them all. Okay, so that was action number one. Action number two, because he had his action instead. Action number two is going to be Another first aid kit. I just need, I just need the cards. There we go. Okay, that's what we wanted. Um, I can get rid of the lighter, typewriter and baseball. That. And get rid of the tracking device. Okay. Uh, now, I do have one action left. And I'm going to, I'm going to run over the ghoul with the Studebaker uh, because it's on um, Sandman Terrace. I ignore the death rattle. And then for the free action here, I'm going to use the sniper rifle on the Night Gaunt. And that goes away. And I've cleared the field. This is good. I think this is good. We go into the last round and I need to be closing gates something chronic. So we've got three actions for Cthulhu, old buddy, old pal. What have you got for us today? Suzy Q Avenue, that's not what we wanted to see. So that's a cult leader. And next up we've got Wrath. Uh, so someone is gonna lose a marble and that someone is going to be, uh, we're going to lose uh, the ancient text, which means the Cthulhu gets a delve. Destroy comes up, there's nothing out there, so we get another delve. Sandman Terrace, and that's the last thing that we have to worry about, which is a dimensional shambler, which is all the things to worry about. Last round. Let's see what we can do. Um, so Salesman comes back. I have to get rid of the cult leader with one action and then close a gate or else I won't be able to close all the gates in time. So yes, I'm gonna discard two marbles to get a camera. Action number one is going to be getting rid of that cult leader is going to cause a delve and then actions two and three are going to be using an elder sign to close a gate. Next up we've got three actions for Cthulhu, the one the only, and 
Well, this could actually be good. Uh, target investigator goes insane. Discard all their cards. This does not open a gate. So the photographer is going away. And it would have been pretty difficult to try and close a gate with her anyway. It would have been trying to get the, uh, the free searches happening or some nonsense like that. Uh, I was going to figure it out when I got to it, but uh, we're going to be getting a new one instead. But we'll finish off this turn here. Okay, that's one, two, destroy. Nothing there, so we will get uh, a card in the, in the delve pool. And for our third action, we've got Wrath. So someone needs to lose a marble. Not too happy about that happening, but anyway, let's lose... Let's lose a baseball bat. And that's all three actions done. Okay. Now it's a matter of the gates are, are clear to be closed, so I just need to draw up an investigator that is going to help me out here. We've got the coach, so we get five marbles, which is a good start. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. Okay. Um, we've got some nonsense going here. Okay, so I've got three actions. Um, and I need to make sure that the mall cop can also close a gate. Okay, so what we've got here, I can close a gate with that, but I need to make sure that the mall cop can in his next turn as well. Now I can get them both to draw cards, but I think the safer way to go about it is I'm going to give a nonstick frying pan to the mall cop. And then I will use my last two actions to close a gate. That gate is gone. That's that done there. I didn't mess around and cause any extra doom. So we've got three cards that we need to get through. Three cards that we need to survive. Okay, first one, Wrath Primary. Someone has to lose a marble and that's going to have to be the coach. Second, destroy a marble. We don't have anything on the table. That's great. We're going to put a card down here. And um, it's going to come down to this, I think. Uh, what do we draw? Sandman Terrace. Target investigator goes insane. Discard all their marbles. This does not open a gate. That's terrifying because in his next turn, I could have searched as my first action and then close the gate and it would have been game on the very last action. But now, oh, mm. oh, it would have been better for me earlier to split the actions over there, but gah, okay. So we lose the marbles, the target token moves on, tank goes away, mall cop goes away, and we are drawing a new character for the last turn of the game and seeing if we can pull off some shenanigans to actually uh, close the last gate. So uh, now we don't have much help from the guys over here. So we've got the conspiracy theorist, uh, which would normally be good, but we only get to draw three cards. Um, so what are those cards going to be? There is not what we need to close a gate in here, but we can solve that because, um, I'm going to, uh, go, Hey coach, um, I'm going to take that looking glass and give you a Molotov cocktail, take the looking glass and then waltz up with the looking glass and the Uzi, close the final gate. And that'll be it. <laughs> okay, that was maybe cutting it a bit fine. 
Um, that was the hard difficulty against Cthulhu. Uh, last, actually, I did have another action left. I could have done that with my uh, exploit the rift ability. So I did have an action to spare. So of course, everything was going to be fine. Um, but yeah, that's how you play. I'm the fourth wall in uh, alliance mode. So that was a solo playthrough, three characters. Uh, you can scale this up and down so you can have multiple characters. You will have less turns to do this in, but hopefully that gave you guys a bit of an idea on uh, what happens in the game and how you can formulate a plan and then it go awry, but then somehow manage to pull it together again. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in future videos.